Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really extravagant name. At least I think it's pretty extravagant. Boys and girls, you know the drill. Baths and showers all done. Teeth all brushed. PJs on. Cuddle buddies on deck. Did you say your prayers? Preferably before, but if you didn't say your prayers, say them um, before you go to sleep. If you didn't do them before we do our story. All right, well, hey, we gotta get to it. I got all my cuddle buddies ready to go. And it's going to be another Eric Carl book, The Very Quiet Cricket. Now I must warn you ahead of time, and I'm trying to get the battery back off because I think I have the batteries that, that fit. This one doesn't work because the batteries need to be changed and I can't get the little screw to come out. So I'm gonna have to do my best to do my cricket chirp at the end. Heads up. Anyway, one warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Ah, little cricket couldn't get his wings to make the chirp chirp sound. Ah, poor little cricket. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Man, I'm about really disappointed that these batteries need to be changed and I can't get the thing off. I don't wanna break the backing. So I'm just wondering how this actually would sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. He gonna get it though. He gonna be determined. He is not gonna give up. He gonna stick to it and make that chirp sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Poor Cricket. I almost wish I could go outside and find a Cricket. They don't never sound when they know you're watching. Like when you get near them, they just be quiet like, oh shoot. You be irritating, searching for Crickets at night, can't find them. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug. Uh, slurping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Ah, oh, that's got to be frustrating for the little cricket. He is just like, why can't I make a sound? You just got here, little cricket. Your wings aren't fully developed. Give them time. I'm sure before the end of the story, you will make a sound. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Cicadas, that's the other thing. It's like they're always so high up in the tree, and you hear them with all that noise they be making, sounding like loud rattling snakes. I'm like, what is that? It's the cicadas. You can't never get to them because they be high up in the tree. <sighs> How are you? Hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. This is so silly. Every single creature bug and whatever else has a sound and this little cricket can't make a sound oh good evening whirled a dragonfly gliding above the water 
The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. By now you guys know that mantra, huh? Every page is the same thing. He rubs his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound, right? Hey. <sighs> Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket, cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Sheesh. I don't know how this cricket is not giving up yet. This cricket has not given up. He keeps trying. I know he probably thinks the other little bugs and stuff think he rude for not saying nothing. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Oh yeah, cause the moth was quiet. The moth was like, I don't need to say nothing. I don't need to make no noise. I'm good. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, now remember, my batteries aren't working and I can't get the back off. I'll keep trying, but this is my, version. He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Chirp! 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 Oh, that's terrible. That is not the sound of a cricket. guys come on now y'all know what how crickets sound i can't make no cricket sound oh, i'm so bummed i really did i was trying to get to see just a little back right here i was trying to get the back off you know i wish i had something that i could make the sound with other than <laughs> chirp chirp oh boo get off the stage all right well, it was a cute story. And what cool bugs and creatures were in that book, huh? Even though I can't chirp like a cricket. Chirp, that is not how they sound. Chirp, no, that's not it. Chirp, it's definitely not that high pitch. Chirp, 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 chirp. Oh, man, I really wish the book worked. Anyway, uh, giving up. Oh, but that, that, that cricket didn't give up though, and it really did make a beautiful sound. If you're not, if you, you just open your windows, guys. I'm sure there's some crickets outside your window. That's the sound that they make. I really had to laugh at myself. Look, even the bunny's jumping off my lap. Like, I'm embarrassed. Get back over here, bunny. All right, boys and girls. You guys know. You can always dream the actual sound of crickets. Now, if you don't know how they sound, again, open your window or go in the backyard and listen. You don't even have to go all the way in the backyard. All you got to do is go to the back porch or to the window. And then hopefully it's not like a lot of extra sounds like we get down here. It's quiet though. Sunday is back to being quiet because Friday and Saturday, my background noise. I'll be amazed you guys actually hear the story. But anyway, boys and girls, go ahead and just close your eyes. Get cuddled in, tucked in now. Whisper to yourself what you'd like to dream about. Maybe you could be a, a cricket or any other insects. It could be a moth, a cicada, a bumblebee, a mosquito, a worm, all of that. You could just close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you want to dream about, and dream that special dream. Just let yourself drift on off to dreamland. Enjoy your dream, and hopefully you remember it when you wake up. All right, boys and girls. Chirp! I give up. <laughs>
I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.